Hey, hey, this is Louis D. Fresh bringing it to you on a Tuesday. Uh, Going to be a strictly outdoors uh, video today. Uh, this is about fish. We're continuing with our water parameters playlist. And uh, thank you again for checking in. Uh, today we're going to be talking about water parameters with freshwater fish. We're talking about ammonia. Ammonia, which uh, last time, what water parameters, we spoke about pH. And pH was kind of either up or either acid or alkaline, whether it's high or low. This ammonia you don't want. You don't want any of it in your tank. Uh, let's begin by showing you. These are from my uh, PowerPoint slides or my Canva slides from this past week. Uh, you'll notice here ammonia is a real danger to your fish. Again, from the Canva slides, it is the most toxic waste produced in the breakdown of organic materials. It really comes from, uh, from waste from the fish and from overfeeding and from overstocking, which we'll get into in a second. So this is something you do not want in your tank. It can cause um, extra mucus around the gills, which is where they breathe and creating poor oxygen and will reduce the ability to retain oxygen in the blood. So ammonia is a big no-no in your freshwater tank. The way you're gonna notice this is you'll see a fish kind of gasping for air at the surface, sort of like that, that open, fit, open mouth kind of huffing and puffing or you will see them at the bottom of a fish tank kind of looking for uh for any uh just trying to hold it together and their fins will be held tightly against their body and then the sure sign besides the gasping is that you will notice that they will start to scratch against objects in the tank like your gravel like uh anything that they can get a hold of and they'll scratchy against it you will know you'll have an ammonia issue with those three short fire signs. I would encourage you to check out my social media, uh, either TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, this past week uh, on Thursday and Friday. Uh, but it's, but I don't want to bore you with uh, repeating myself over and over. But this one slide, this is one of the real short shot ways of getting ammonia in your tank. You overfeed them. I feed my fish uh, twice a week on Wednesdays and usually either Saturday or Sunday and that's it just a pinch overstocking I know I'm overstocked when I quickly show you my tanks uh, but that really helps when you when you don't feed them as much you really should have one inch of fish per gallon in a freshwater tank and insufficient filtration you always want to go higher so if a filter says 40 gallons you want to if a filter says 40 gallons you never want to go over in terms of uh in terms of the 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 filtration so if it's 40 gallons make sure that it's for a 20 gallon tank is what i'm trying to say and here if you detect ammonia which we're going to be doing a live in this little video is do an immediate large water change what i'm talking about is you see collie walking back behind me the immediate water change large water change i'm talking like half a tank no more than that because then you're going to really mess up the bacteria that's growing in your tank and uh, we'll eventually talk more about bacteria but no more than a half tank and make sure that the water that you're going to use is dechlorinated that's really really important and it's the same temperature you don't want to shock them so make sure that it's dechlorinated use a tap water uh, conditioner and uh, make sure it's the same temperature as close to it you don't have to get crazy but similar and last but not least is you should uh, add this zeloite, zelo, zel, easy for you to say, zeloite for uh, to reduce uh, ammonia. Before we actually test this stuff out, uh, before um, before the pandemic, there was something called Ammo Carb by the company API that I always used to buy. And to be honest, uh, since the pandemic in uh, this COVID nineteen. Uh, it is no longer available. So I looked on Chewy, Chewy.com, very good company, uh, for something similar to ammonia remover because uh, because I have my tanks outside. And it's funny that I said the zeolite because, and I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it, Z-E-O-L-I-T-E, -E, because what I bought uh, from Chewy, the ammonia carb remover, is exactly that. Let me show you. There it is. The This, is, I, this actually came in the mail yesterday. And that is exactly what I use. It's the ammo carb. In other words, it has carbon as well as zeolite to uh, remove your ammonia that you do not want any of in your tank. So I actually use this stuff. If y'all checked out my uh, my video two weeks ago, and I just want to show my little mango tree because it does have little mangoes on it and all that. I'm not really am proud of this thing. Um, 
I, we tested the pH for the lake and the tap water and a particular aquarium just because. And I want to continue that pattern and uh, I want to see uh, what, uh, what kind of uh, parameters there are. Now, the reason I'm showing this to you is that because uh, I know I'm in a Christian school, uh, you know, because obviously I do the college stuff. And in this Christian school, I, I follow along in this Bible class from time to time. And they're talking, I'm not talking about Jesus or any of that. I talk, they're talking about authenticity and uh, this uh, thing about being uh, sincere and uh, genuine. And, and, I, and I, I can't agree more with with that in, and i know they're talking about bible and all that but i'm talking about this stuff there's too many uh videos and tv shows and movies that go kind of, oh look i showed you and i knew everything would be perfect uh I, I don't like that this this video might totally flop and uh i i it may not work out but uh we're gonna find out together and we're gonna see uh if there what kind of uh, ammonia there is in the lake, in the tap water, and in uh, in a particular aquarium. Let's check it out. All right, let's check out the lake, see what we got. I think it's really cool. I'd never ever do a video at this time. It is sweltering hot. Uh, it's about 92, 93 degrees. It's May 11th, I believe. Uh, I want you to notice the algae that's forming. And the algae, that, remember I mentioned algae? And I remember I mentioned how it's important to get rid of the algae and all that. and. Uh, a UV sterilizer I mean you can see the algae are really starting to form and so I took some water out of here uh, just a couple of minutes ago and we're gonna test it in a second remember that that uh, that theme that I've been I've been running at you the, the last uh, three weeks actually this is my third week on it connections remember the UV sterilizer the importance of it for me because you can see that Sun burns and that Sun is gonna really create havoc terms of algae and so that's why i really wanted you to see the algae and see i'm not just saying hey let me get a uv sterilizer for fun so let me show the old tap water again here's the tap water one more time uh my gardener guy hasn't been around lately i i'm hoping he's coming by later on today and uh, that's why the grass is so high but that's the tap water that i took out and uh that's the tap water i use for my for my fish so that's what i am testing I'm not testing these guys. These are, again, these are my turtles. These are, as uh, Tuscan is looking at me like, what, what are you doing? And I have peanut butter and jelly over here. They're doing real well. Uh, but uh, I just want to quickly show them to you. Here's a tank over here. This one, I'm, I didn't take the water from here, but you can see uh, I still got a lot of string algae, but this particular plant uh, has really been helping because uh, it kind of blocks out some of the sunlight and that's why I'm kind of rushing here. So I want to make sure that uh, that I, I get this before the sun really starts cooking over here. One more time, the big old plant, I just covered it up. See, it kind of blocks out a lot of the sun. And this is the other plant that kind of blocks out the other sun. Uh, and eventually when I get those new fish tanks, I'm going to get some plants all around it or else, uh, or else the, the, the tanks are just going to fry. So um, look out for those. Again, this is not the tank I took the water from, but uh, I wanted you to see, I was able to resolve my green water issue with this plant. Uh, I, I couldn't believe it. So I, I just, I got really annoyed and frustrated. I didn't take the green water anymore. And so with the plants and the pl and the big plant kind of blocking it, it has really cleared up my, my green water issue. Little shout out to my little Wallstead bowl over here. Uh, I can't lie to you. I dump it out once a week and I put new water because the water was getting ridiculous. It was like black. So uh, there there she is, my little Wallstad bowl with three little feeder guppies. As I stated earlier, this is where I got the water for my test for the pH. And so we're gonna stick with it and we're gonna try it out here to get rid of the, to see what kind of ammonia I may have. And I, I pray that I don't because everybody seems pretty active and pretty good so uh hopefully this video will not flop all right here we are again um these again remember my solo cups uh we have l for lake uh tw i changed it because there's i got confused tw referring to uh tank um see i almost messed that up again tap water and the a is for aquarium and again this these are my my two bottles i'm supposed to put eight drops from the first the first bottle and then eight drops for my second bottle and we want to look at the ammonia we want to avoid ammonia altogether so i'm shooting for a zero so we shall see and again shout out to beverly's pet center as i turn this around there i'll be all right as we see Kali. 
oh, I didn't do it. But anyway, this is the top water, fresh water, top water test kit. And uh, that is from Beverly's Pet Center in Pembroke Pines, Florida. I'm gonna uh, flip it around and we're gonna see if uh, how the lake water did in terms of ammonia testing. As I change glasses, because I need, I need to read these things. Uh, I remember, I think I mentioned long time ago in terms of why, one of the reasons I wanna get a bigger tank is because the larger the reservoir of water is, uh, the, the easier the, the tank is to keep because the, the, short, the smaller the parameters, the less water, the water is more concentrated. This is from the lake. Uh, this lake is very long, not wide. Uh, I would say it's probably a good mile long, uh, maybe about uh, maybe two, three blocks wide. Um, I'm thinking city blocks, uh, not, more, not longer than that. And because there's so much water, uh, this result has happened. I was very surprised, to be very honest. As you remember uh, last time, the pH was very alkaline. Uh, and I thought it was, it was kill fish and blah, blah, blah. But I see why fish thrive here because the, uh, the ammonia is so, so low. I'm gonna try to do this without having my hand shake. You'll notice that it's not on zero, but it is probably on the second one, which is 0.25, which is pretty, pretty impressive uh, considering uh, it is a lake. So it's right on the second one, the second one. Equally as impressive, the ammonia in tap water is right around uh, the 0.5 to 1.0. Yes, there is some ammonia, but I kind of expected it because of the um, because of the chemicals that they put in for drinking and eating and cooking and what have you. Uh, I thought, honestly, I thought it'd be a little darker but uh, it's not bad. It's between the 0.25 and the 0.5. So uh, I was pleasantly surprised to be very honest with you. I thought it was gonna be, thought there would be no water. Uh, I am happily surprised. You will, you will notice that the ammonia level is indeed at a zero as my hand shakes. You'll see that it is on the zero and not here, but it's actually a zero. And I really, uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of happy about that because it shows again uh, when you do your water changes, you change your filters, uh, you feed sparingly, uh, you include uh, live plants, uh, and, and you really, really take care of your animals. Um, it, it really shows because there is no, there's no, uh, there's no ammonia in the water. It is, uh, it is really pretty, pretty bright yellow. And that's all I got. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, again, it just shows the importance that, I know people say, oh, I have fish, I have fish. But you have to keep, you have to, whatever it is that you do, whatever you're doing to keep them alive and doing your thing, don't change, don't mess it up. It's a delicate ecosystem. Uh, and I was pleasantly surprised about the lake and the tap water. I thought it was honestly gonna be a lot worse because I know it was a lot worse when it came to, uh, to this stuff for the, for the pH level. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, look back and you'll see uh, my pH video. So that's it. And uh, I thank you. This is the Weedy Fresh, bringing it to you on a Tuesday.